Evening, ladies as well as gentlemen, Papa Boris here with some more Darkest Dungeon. I think I'm gonna just go for this medium mission here with the Gathering of the Grain Sacks, even though I hate these. The trinket's actually alright. It's plus 10 damage to a highwayman, which is fine. So, um, I'm gonna use this opportunity to try to get people up higher. All my upper people are in the sanitarium for some reason. I don't know why I did that. Maybe it made sense at the time. We'll take the Hellion, the Lapper, Acoustic Guitar over here. And call it a day. Okay, so let's um, let's do that. Also make some progress towards the boss. And okay, so a few extra torches for the possibility of papers, the knives, the dinner tables, the heirloom chests, the bone piles, and then it's always good to have a couple of shovels for food. I'll just do the standard loadout. Although you could try to buy less food. I just hope to find some. There's a lot of food in the Warrens. I don't really see a reason to risk it. I've got more money than I could ever possibly hope to spend. And the only thing that money will really get spent on anymore is, um, what's her face? Trinkets from the Nomad Wagon. I think that's where I'm going to put all the rest of my crests as well, is just getting more of a selection of trinkets every week to uh, maximize my odds of, like, getting the one or two good trinkets that are out there up for purchase. Okay, so we got to get all the grain sacks. Now, this is a good room layout. Normally, you can almost go through the whole thing without ever... Um, having to backtrack. However, for this mission, it's actually a really bad layout because the grain sacks can be in the hallways. So even if you go through every single room, um, in fact, you can go through every single room if you follow this pattern. You can go through every single room without backtracking, you're gonna miss some hallways. So yeah, it just sucks. Not only do the grain sacks take up space in your inventory, but on top of that, they're hard to find in a layout that would be good for every other type of mission. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a bit of a tough one here. Hopefully, um, we don't take too much stress. Let's see. Can I actually? I can kill one of these with a good roll. I can't kill her, so I'm gonna just take my chances. Alas, it doesn't happen. And I'm gonna see. I think it's more important to kill her than to try to kill these two. These two only really suck on crits, but she sucks if she just chooses to use the stress ability. She resists the bleed, however. And she does still get to go this round, so if she uses Stressful Incantation, yep, I'm gonna take some stress that I wouldn't have taken otherwise. 20 stress is a lot. Does this guy have some kind of problem with this place? Did I just get critted? No, I didn't. I guess it just really makes the screen shake when they munch on you, jeez. As she, oh wow, they all got to go before me. Wow, so the fact that she resisted that bleed on the 45% chance really blows. Because that was two extra stresses. That's gonna be like four uses of my stress relieving ability um, to clear all that out. Ugh. Well, if only I had a, uh, a crusader here, I could help out with the stress relief. As it is, we'll just do a bit of dicking around. Alright. Is it worth it? To ah, it's not worth it. We'll just try to have the leper do as much self-stress relief as we can. But altogether, that was a pretty bad start. The Enchantress resisted the bleed, which caused her to actually get to go twice more. 20 stress on my leper both times. Does he have some? Ah, he has negative 15% stress heal. So that is the price of wearing this awesome mask. Is he actually heals his stress off of, and instead of healing for five, as you can see, he only heals for four. Okay, um, sure, I'll take a whack at that guy up. Should have done some stress relief. Alright, he dodges back, that's fine. There's a crit. Oh boy, we are off to a rocky start here. With the stress. I'm just gonna try to bleed through the big things so that we clear out of the way. It doesn't actually get affected by bleed very much. So maybe that wasn't the smartest choice. I got a crit, didn't heal the leper though. The leper's already up to five bars. Um, alright, let's take another whack, and then that'll be the leper's last time attacking the enemy, although I think everything might be dead by then. Alright, we will stun this thing. Alright, heal the leper of some stress. Thank you kindly. Alright. Um, I'm gonna actually do some group heals here. Leper... Try to relieve some stress. All in all, the difference between four and five isn't that bad. Oh god, it actually got a crit. Undoing everything. 
Ugh. Well, I still stand by my choice. I think it's a reasonable choice to do that. Um, because the odds of a crit on the enemy are pretty small. Let's keep on plugging away and plugging away. And now we'll just finish this thing off. Alright. That could have definitely gone better. Let's pop the key here. And is it worth it to do some resting? No, because I can. I have two more inventory spaces. I should be okay. And here we're actually going to get to use up the holy water. Okay. Another painting stack and another torch. No traps so far, which is nice. The leper's just taken a real pounding. And we have more stress on the way. Thankfully, not targeting the leper. The enemies are going first. There we go. I'm going to try to do a judgment day, plus if it bleeds on the swine marcher to hopefully prevent it from going. Alright. Everything's that except for the, the vomit people, the stress people. He chooses not to do drums of doom, which is good. So since he didn't choose to do that, let's actually try to kill the pig. And hope he doesn't do the drums again. Or that my people get to go before him. Yeah. So let's go ahead and stun this guy. And I'm going to dick around just a tiny bit. This won't cause a penalty because the Hellion gets to go. Unfortunately, the Hellion did a lot of damage, even with the debuffed attack, and killed the thing. Wow, alright, so we get two more keys. Thankfully, hold on a minute. Yeah, this would be stupid to take the treasure out right now, because I still have a key left, and then I only have one inventory space. What I'm going to do instead is put the Leper Mask in the inventory, so that in camp he doesn't have that negative stress heal. And we're going to pop the firewood a bit early. We have plenty of torches, so that shouldn't be a problem. Oh, hey, somebody here is a... Uh, not eating food. I don't even know who that is. Who is it that's not eating food? Um, nobody... Is it him? Is he a stress faster? Nope. I don't, I don't know who's not eating, but whatever. Let's feast it up. Oh, man, don't... Oh, God, he doesn't have that skill. Ah, oh, really should have gotten that skill. That would have been handy to have. Crap. All right, we'll do this, then. Let that mask down. Everybody else gets five stress, but him losing five is, is worth it, I think. The Hellion should, of course, sharpen her spear. This person should clean some guns. Improve scouting chance. He doesn't have the, um, the surprise skill. That's too bad. Gallows humor? I think that would be pretty wasted. So let's uh, bless the leper for some accuracy. And then praying would not really be worthwhile. Actually, it would. Isn't the leper religious? So that would actually get rid of everyone's stress. But I might as well just do this. And um, that's the only stress relief. Okay, so we'll go for uncatchable. Okay, that could have definitely been better. Let's put the mask back on. See if we have an ambush. Alright, well that took care of most of the leper's stress at the expense of everyone else. Those freaking two stressful incantations set me back a ways, but now we're okay. Alright, more heirlooms. Crests are very good. Crests are pretty much the only thing that matters anymore. Because I need them to upgrade the Nomad Wagon. Everything else, I, it's just irrelevant. You know, the game is in early access, it's clearly not finished, there are two whole other dungeons that will appear once the game is made live, and apart from that, you know, I'm okay with there, there being some tweaking that still needs to be done. Okay, since this we scouted here, it's actually kind of nice. I know that this hallway is clear except for this thing, which I don't want to touch, but I wanted to check that because that could have been a grain sack. I also know that there's nothing in this hallway except for a trap, which is very good. Remember, that is our mission, is to find the grain sacks. Alright, nothing in this room. We scouted that out. More scouting is nice. Alright, nothing in the next room either. Got some food here. Nope. Rabies. Ah, oh, that's actually really good. I forgot actually you can get syphilis from those things, but you didn't get syphilis, you got rabies, the good disease. Trade accuracy for damage any day. That leper is going to be a hard-hitting mofo pretty soon. 
Okay, so we're having to skip some hallways, unfortunately. But, um... I should be fine. We'll have to just pick them up later. Don't want to touch this thing as a chance of 50 stress. The only way you can use it well is to burn firewood at it, but it's not really even that important to do that. It gives you like a crit buff, so it doesn't even stick around very much. Right, so when the pig's in the back, that's when he, um, the biggest big pig is in the back. That's when he's the most dangerous, because this is when he can do like a party-wide attack. Ah, oh, the stun. Damn it. I was really hoping he could move forward so that, uh, he could do grape shots. I'm gonna actually target the pig and hopefully kill it before this guy has a chance to go. Ah, oh, the dodge. That kills. Okay, the pig- oh, it doesn't bleed out! Oh no! I really thought that was gonna be 4 damage, but this Hellion's not all the way leveled. Ouch. Okay, this actually kinda sucks, but we need to really kill this pig to stop the, um, this guy from doing his big thing. And also, putting Grape Shot back on the market is nice as well. Alright, um, stun chance, low for them both. This guy's getting a little low on health, I'm just gonna heal him up. It's better than taking a stunning chance, I think. Alright, and I can actually go, yeah, I'm gonna use her to try to stun. Alright, thank you, Sharpen the Spear. This guy doesn't get stunned, unfortunately, but this one does. So he uses a totally useless ability, because he can't retreat any further, so that was great. Whack him for tons of damage. Grape shot, finally. And hey, thank you, clean guns. Alright, stress levels. Back down. Let's see if we can stun this thing. Give the leper a chance to stress relief. Excellent. And give the priest some time to heal everybody up. Alright. Crystal whip. Doesn't do it. Trot Retreat. Lucky he did that every single time. Apparently Trot Retreat has very low accuracy or something because he has not been hitting me very much with that. And now let's just kill it. Wow, more crits. Crits a daisy do. This is terrible. Alrighty. Gotta throw something out here. I think I'm just gonna throw out this food. I don't need that much food. And obviously I don't care about these dice. They're just stupid. Well, they're not stupid. If I had played with jesters, I guess I'd use them, but jesters are bad. Yeah, so food is really not an issue because, again, I have somebody... Somebody somewhere is not eating... Who is it? Yeah, yes, my priest does not actually eat food with that bloodthirst ring. So, I have, like, three more meals after this. I am totally fine. There's our first trap of the day. Thankfully, it hits not the leper. The leper takes extra stress. Oh, here we go. We got a grain sack. Yep, okay, well, nothing nothing I can do about it, so, I could actually just get rid of the paintings, because they don't matter, but I'll throw away the bandages, in case I don't find any more, in case I don't find any, um, what's his face, uh, knife racks, it's not going to matter about the bandages, and yes, I know you can use bandages to stop bleeding, but, we're not having any trouble with health here. So we're having a fight with no reward. And there's going to be some stress here. Luckily the monsters are surprised. That obviously makes a huge difference. Let's see how much damage we can put on before they get to go. Pig is the one that has the guaranteed stress ability. So that's, I think, the most important one to take down. And we do take it down. Very good. Now I'm just going to stun him. Stop the drummer from having any chance to do drums of doom. Alright, Leper's actually all the way down to 3 stress, so I think I can just leave him alone with uh, the dicking around. 3 and 19. So the Hellion has a fair bit, but there's nothing she can do about it, so it's fine. Honestly, the best thing she can do is just attack and hope to get crits. Her crit chance is pretty insane. Um, with the dar- oh, you can have- it. was this always the case? You could hover over it and it would tell you what it all came from? She has a quirk that gives her extra crit? Oh gosh, I can't take anything more. Hmm. Well, that's what happens with these damn grain sack missions. So, I, I'm going to throw away the key and take Crest. I think those are the most important thing. Um, I really don't care about these paintings, so I'm just going to throw them away and take money. Yeah, sorry, paintings. You're just not good enough. And I don't want to throw the shovel away. The herbs? Yeah, I could throw the herbs away and grab some extra paintings, but really I have like 40-some paintings. It's just immaterial. I don't think I want to do that. 
thing. I think it can give you stress. It's just not worth it. Okay, we got the weak, big enemy. I'm rolling max damage. And that high man just keeps getting bald. Bald every time. Luckily, he resists the stun this time, so he gets to put out 13 more damage. And, um, I believe this thing only has 9 health. That'd be pretty overkill for the Hellion to hit it. Let's just go for the bad guy. Huh. Doesn't quite go the weasel. Tentacle Devour sounds like such a scary move, and this thing looks so scary, but it really just doesn't do very much. Let's top off some health. Done now, possibly. No, she resists. Not a girl. And we'll just finish that thing off, even though that was massive overkill. Oh, the dodge. And the not quite dead. Still no reason for the leopard to do that, so let's just kill that thing. Okay. Actually, everything fit into my packed inventory. Excellent. Alright, scouting is good so I can see where the curios are. There is a curio there that could be a grain sack. I'm just gonna hope it's not. If it is, that'll be annoying. This room, this hallway is clear. This thing could be a grain sack, or it could be something else. It is a grain sack, and there is a fight here, though. So that's too bad. Alright, please resist this. That would be nice. Thanks. It wouldn't have been the end of the world, but it would have been annoying. To have the Hellion be out of range. Right, he's doing Ren for the gods. You really do need to try to kill off that thing. Luckily, I can do Hugh and score a crit. Fantastic. Alright, I'm not gonna try to stun her, or stun this thing. Either I can try to kill it, but then I give the Enchantress a chance to do her stress, or I can go for the Enchantress. I'd have to roll a 14, though, on the damage to get the Enchantress to die, so I'm just gonna... That. Well, that would have killed her off. But see this thing. Oh, it won't quite bleed to death. It's at four health. Shucks. Alright, so I'll have to judgment day him. And let's just hope we can kill her before she has a chance to go. Leper? That's right. Okay. Busts. Yeah, I don't really care about busts. Do I care about busts more than papers? I think I do care about busts more than papers. Because papers only upgrade the stagecoach, which is irrelevant right now, and the blacksmith's already up. So yeah, really, I should have actually kept the paintings, because the papers are useless now. Which is funny, because papers are what I spent the entire game being crazy about, but now they don't matter. Okay, so there's only one more, two more rooms that are unchecked. I could just pop all my torches. Yeah, I'll, I'll just pop my torches and throw the last torch away. Let's be a little greedy here. Okay, so we go here. Oh, can this be a food stuff? Oh, no, no, no! God, that was dumb. I actually pressed the up button when I wasn't quite close enough to the crate. No, it's heirlooms, paintings, I don't even care. So, we've got to find where that last food crate is. This, this ghoul can be a problem. It can do a group stress ability and a single target stress ability. Man, lots of 26s. Not that I mind. I'm going to try to go for the pig. Hopefully, Grape Shot will kill the pig during the surprise round. It does. Excellent. So at least that guaranteed stressor is gone. And um, I'm gonna yawp because we got a pretty good chance of stunning it. Stopping it from attacking is very nice. Ah, the miss. The leopard does have, with rabies now, quite a bit of negative accuracy. But that's why it's just important for him to get that skill where he heals stress and increases his own accuracy. Okay, let's tilt this thing up before it can attack. Wasn't quite gonna bleed to death. And all right, everything fits. Is that the final food stuff crate? That sure would be nice. It is, wow, that's great. So it could have been really annoying if that weren't, but luckily we had a good layout this time and uh, didn't have to lose too much, although we did lose some heirlooms. I guess now that heirlooms don't matter, throwing them away is not such a big deal, but if I was still at the stage of the game where heirlooms mattered, that would have been very annoying, of course. Alright, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please like and or subscribe if you did. And I'll see you again soon. Take care, everyone. Now, if you want to stick around, let's uh, check out the middle management exercise. Ah. Okay. Cool. 
So, now... I don't think there's any negative quirks I picked up that I need to get rid of or care about. Don't think I need to upgrade anybody's things. Let's check the Nomad Wagon. Plague Doctor, Jester... Ah, uh, those aren't good. It would be good if it were like Chris for negative accurate crit for negative accuracy, but negative damage sort of defeats the purpose. Hmm. Plus three speed and more damage. But you take more str actually that's a that's a decent one. Melee crit melee negative damage and what the that's stupid. Okay, so let's see, can I upgrade this thing? I sure can. I could reduce the price. Because at these prices, even with all my big stash of gold, that, that will be lowered dramatically. But uh, yeah, I think it's more important to get the variety right now than the price. Maybe the next thing I get will be the price reduction. And yes, let's go ahead and grab this Berserk Charm so that the person acts earlier in the round and does more damage and takes more stress. That seems fair. Okay, so we need to assign trinkets here. My top tier dude should get the... Wait, should get this thing? The less accuracy, but more damage. And then the Berserk Charm. Wow, why did I? I have not been finding great trinkets. So this is probably the person who should have the Berserk Charm. My leper up here. Okay. It leaves us with this tough ring of uh, protection and extra hit points. I guess I'll have the Hellion wear it for now, although I don't think it actually matters that much. Okay, we also need to go to the camper place. This is, this is, this is kind of silly. So he, all the lepers definitely need to have reflection. Yeah, that just needs to happen. Pop, and then all of the bandits really need to have bandit sense for extra surprising. This guy has really bad skills. He's got clean guns, but. He needs bandit sense and uncatchable. I don't think uncatchable is worth buying, even though I have the money to spare. That's okay. We'll leave it alone. And then, how about this bandit? He doesn't have bandit sense either. Sure, we'll just do it. I don't, I'm not going to play with Sumnary much, I suspect, but just in case I do, I might as well do it. And Gallows Humor has never been used full, so we'll just pop that off. Okay. I think that's everything there. And now... Let's decide who's going on my next mission so I can put the rest of the people in the sanitarium and possibly stress relief. So again, I really want a Hellion on tap in order to fight the Hagwitch. I could just take Medley without leveling her up to five. All right, let's do that. Let's have her and the Crusader. And then these two people attacking the Hagwitch in the next mission. So that means that the Leper and then skip these four and everyone else can still go to the sanitarium. Stress resist, one low on health, that shouldn't matter. And then dips, Dispo Mania, sure, I'll heal that up. So he doesn't uh, go for some trinkets or for curios that I don't like. No, she doesn't matter. Light above that, that's pretty uncommon. We don't play with highlight. This Vestal is remarkably well adjusted. Rabies is fine. And then Bloodthirsty, we can get rid of. That will stop him from poking his head into curios. Death blow resist. Actually, you know what? Let's um, yeah, let's get rid of that death blow resist. It's not gonna come up very often, but if it ever does get bad, you know, having an extra 10% chance of dying permanently is something I'd, I'd be happy to spend uh, 750 gold to prevent. Okay, is there anyone here who needs a little bit of stress? Leave. I can have her clear out that stress. It really, uh, that's so insignificant. Okay, so we know the next mission. The next mission, we are actually going to fight the Hagwitch. With an under, slightly underpowered Hellion, she's level 4 instead of level 5, but I mean her skills are all maxed out, and she's got the right camping skills, and even extra protection and health, Woo. so I think it's fine. Weapons and armor are at the max at level 4. I don't even know what the point is of levels 5 and 6, honestly, but whatever. So we'll do these four people to fight the Hag, which that could be bad, it could be hard, but we'll see. And that's the next video. Thanks again for watching, I'll see you again soon. Take care, everyone.